Hi, I'm Tim Tomkoviak, licensed loan officer in Michigan. I help first time home buyers buy a home, build up equity and wealth for their family without any hassle or stress. Today, a great video for you. We're going to talk about how much money you need to flip properties. Basically, we're talking about being a investor, a property investor. Now, you're going to see these commercials and these ads with people saying, hey, sign up for my course. I'll show you how to be an investor and flip properties with no money and the secrets and all this stuff. So just so you know, that's all horse crap. Um, it's all BS. Um, and I'm going to go over that with you today about how do you become an investor? And I want to talk real quick about the benefits of being a housing investor or a landlord or flipping properties. Um, there's a lot of money you can make in real estate, but you're going to need to do some things and we're going to go over that. But let's talk about the benefits real quick. So you buy a home and you have multiple ways to make money. So if you buy a home, you can rent it out. And when you rent it out, you're actually making money off of uh, the rent. So they're paying your rent. And if you have a mortgage on that property, of course, your rent's higher than the mortgage. And the difference of that is the money. Another way you make money is that homes go up. Oh, another way you make money is that homes go up in value. We call that appreciation. So while they're paying their rent, the mortgage is going down and based on the area, the home is going up in value. So what happens eventually you could just sell the home and that's when you can get a bigger check or you find a home that um, needs maybe $20,000 worth of work. But if you put the $20,000 into the home, you could sell it for what? $60,000 more. So you put 20 made 60, that's $40,000. Now you see what I'm saying? You can make a quick $40,000. And there's some people that do this full time. They flip properties. So there's lots of ways you can make money with um, real estate. And people know that. And that's why they sell these courses and these all these different things. But I'm going to tell you, you don't need to sign up with a course. You don't need to pay any money. I'll tell you, it's kind of the six things that you're going to need if you want to be a property investor. So number one, to be a property investor, you want to have good credit. Now, good credit is for two reasons. Number one, you ever heard the term use their money and not your money? That's what you want to do. If you can borrow money, um, so some places they call it a hard money lender. And I have a few, you can comment below, I'll give you the name of a hard money lender doesn't really look at your income. They kind of just look at your credit and they look at the property. So hard money lenders are nice because if you go through like me or a traditional lender or bank, they're going to look at your credit, income, all your documents, and they're not really good with um, house flipping or investment properties. They'll do them, but they're not good at it. Hard money lenders are so good because they'll give you money to buy the property and they'll give you money um, based on what the home will be worth at the repairs. So they'll give you money for the repairs too. Isn't that nice? So, But there is a catch to it. They don't give you all the money at front. They call it after repair value, before repair value. So they'll impress the property and they'll give you money and you go out and you make the repairs. They look at it, sign off on it, then they give you money for the next repairs. So it works real good, but you need good credit to get that and you need credit basically in general to get a primary home. So you need good credit. Another thing to be an investor, you need low debt to income. You can't have a lot of bills and you're trying to be an investor. Think about it. Your landlord has usually more money than you because, um, you know, they have, you know, enough money. What happens if you make enough money, um, what do you do with it? Do you have it sit in the bank where it loses money? No, you start investing in real estate, stock, bonds, businesses, and things like that. But real estate is one of the best investments. So having low debt um, really makes things easier because you, 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 while you're fixing the property up, while you're finding a renter, you still have to cover the, you know, the, the utilities and the mortgage payment. So if you have a mortgage payment on top of your other debts, it's very hard. And I've seen people try to be investors with a lot of debt. So you need to be really good with your credit, really financially responsible before you get into the investing game. 
The investing game is not for broke people. So if you're kind of broke, get your credit, get your debt low, and really set yourself up. Number three, you're going to need money. <laughs> yes. Even with a hard money lender, they're going to want anywhere from 15 to 20% plus their closing costs. So you need money. Um, either you go to a regular bank and not a hard money lender, you, they're still going to want 15 or 20% plus their closing costs. And then on top of that, you need money for the repairs. Now with the hard money lender, they're going to help you with some of the repairs. You can do that. But in general, you're still going to need money because they're going to want 20% down or 50% down, you know, based on your credit and your risk factor. But you're going to need some money, um, some assets just to hold you over. Um, with my company, we want you to have six months of reserve. So whatever the mortgage payment is, you need to have six months of that just sitting in the account after your down payment and closing costs. So you need money. And again, it takes money to make money. And I have seen most people that are investors, they have really good jobs, like they're doctors, engineers, things like that, or they're really successful in business only. They own a couple of businesses. And then they start getting into the rental game or a realtor that's making a lot of money or a loan officer makes a lot of money. Then they get into the game. So good credit, low debt, you need money, uh, money for the repairs. And the last thing is the most important thing you need to know what you're doing. And what I mean by knowing what you're doing is number one, you need to be able to say, hey, this property has potential. Now there's systems like that, that will tell you. So you gotta be able to identify opportunity, under evaluate. So you find a property and you know it needs work. How can you calculate how much work is gonna need and how can you have a good idea what you're gonna sell it for to make your profit? So. You can lose a lot of money and you watch TV shows like HDTV and they make house flipping look easy. No, it's not easy. It's a skill. It's very hard. So you need to have your contractors lined up and some people that aren't going to charge you retail prices. They're going to charge you because normally a contractor charge you a higher price because, you know, you're one and done. You're a consumer. But if you're an investor, they usually give you a lower price because you're going to keep giving them work and they like to have work. So you need to have your contractors lined up, you know, someone who's a carpenter, someone who's an electrician or someone that does it all. And then you just got to know your market. You got to know, hey, this home, if I put 10,000, I put 20,000 in it, I can sell it for X. So you got to know what you're doing. And a lot of people miss that part. So on top of everything else, you got to start studying that market and basically find homes that are under evaluated, find homes that where the owner doesn't have money to make the repairs and you're going to come in and make the repairs and maybe turn them into a renter. So you got to have that idea of what you're doing. That's very important. You want to take your time with that because you can go broke and spin out your budget very, very fast. So I hope this helps. This is the truth and this is how it works. Um, and uh, it's not the easiest thing to do, but it's very possible and you can do it. And I can help you do it. I know a lot. I've worked with investors. I've seen people with investment properties. I've ran into them. I see them, you know, everywhere. Um, so find homes that need work, that are distressed, not too much work, and, and do a lot of homework and things like that. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again on the next video. Thanks.